Let's get more now from Denny Colson, who's the former commander of FBI hostage rescue team. He joins me from Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, the former acting, good to have you on the program, the former acting Secretary of Defense Chris Miller on Fox News Monday implored President Biden to strike a deal to bring home Mark Furyk, a U.S. contractor abducted in Afghanistan last year. Does the U.S. have a plan to strike a deal with the Taliban to have the hostage returned? I don't think they do. I don't think they have a clue what they're doing. I don't think they really care. What we've done is we've given them a cash cow of hostages that's going to be a business where they can uh, trade hostages for money and resources and uh, those they don't kill. So I don't think they have a plan. I don't think they're ready to do it. I don't think they care. I think uh, Joe Biden wanted out of there and he set a date he was going to leave without any thought about how we get the rest of our citizens out of there and our allies. So no, I don't think they have a plan. If they had one, uh, it's, it's probably as bad as the one they had to, uh, to do the extraction of our military, which was a disaster. The Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, said there are less than 200 Americans who remain in Afghanistan and want to leave. Is it realistic, in your opinion, for them to be able to leave Afghanistan uh, fairly easily or uh, difficultly uh, now that American forces have left? Well, you know, I, that was my business, to extract hostages, and I don't see how they're going to do it. There's no base of operations there. There's no secure zone. Uh, you've got to come in with uh, vehicles, which are generally helicopters, and where do you land them and where do you service them? And then once you do your rescue, which is probably the easiest thing to do in a hostage situation, the action's at the objective. Uh, and then what? How do we get out of a hostile environment? I don't think we know that. I don't think we have the capability to do that. I applaud these uh, former Green Beret and uh, Marines and um, Special Ops people who are doing that now. And I don't know how they're doing it. But uh, the United States government should have been doing it. We should have thought about that. And we didn't. And now we've left uh, American citizens to their own devices. And I don't believe for a second that we know how many are there. I don't think there's no requirement that you, that you as a citizen, when you go to a foreign country, that you register with the State Department. You can or you don't have to. And I don't think they have a clue. I don't think they know what's going on. And I think that all they want to be is out of there. General Hank Taylor suggests there are an estimated 2,000 ISIS militia in Afghanistan. What's your assessment of the possibility of growing terror terrorism from the region? How big is the threat? I think it's huge. I think it's amazingly uh, significant. Um, remember that 9-11 originated there, and they have a safe haven there. They can train. They can prepare. They can raise funding there, uh, get all their operational interests together and then go do something like a 9-11. So I think it's terrible. And you couple that with the idea that we no longer have a secure border, that we can, uh, we have no way of knowing who's coming into our border. We know that people aren't just coming from uh, Mexico and Central and South America. They're coming from other parts of the world. And there's no reason that they would be uh, dissuaded from coming here and coming walking right across our border. That's the scary part about it. All right, we'll leave it there. Denny Colson in Fort Worth, Texas. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I enjoyed it. Thank you very much.